Hopefully they have a 20% off total purchase. You can use that too, so. Okay, and then we'll use uh, Jane Davenport's Pixie. Isn't that just perfect to use on a, on a mermaid? Pixie. And what was this other one called? I love her. Her names are just beautiful. Kiss, kiss. All of her names are like just magical names, fairy names, mermaid names. It's fabulous. Love it. Okay. All right. So now the magic of this whole thing is using a blender pencil to blend all of this together. So this technique, you do need to buy a blender pencil. Just a second, you guys. I am getting, um, I need to sharpen this pencil. And you, I'm not, I'm looking for my other blender pencils and I have an extender. So when it gets to be short like this, I have an extender for my pencils. And I went on vacation and I packed a bunch of stuff. So I might have packed it. And I just haven't unpacked it yet. Because otherwise it would be right with all my stuff. Just a second, you guys. Let me just, I have this little tray of things that I like to use. Okay, here's the blender pencil I was talking about. Oh, actually, this pencil doesn't fit. You know what? The ones from Blix fit into this extender, but the ones that are from um, Michaels don't fit into that, which I think is weird. Okay. But that's what an extender looks like. you think these pencils would just be kind of the basic same size, but... Nope. Okay. I'm going to be doing a really cool little project with those paintbrushes. Okay. Make sure that we're still in frame. Okay. So. And how I chose the palette for my girl, like for the hair and how I'm going to choose the palette for when we get to the um, mermaid tail is, um, just a second, let me just focus. All the colors that are in the world she's going to be living in, okay? So... She's going to fit in here really well. So those are the kind of colors I'm going to use for her hair and then for her mermaid tail. Okay, so we just blended that color. We're going to blend that. We blended that into the little bit deeper color, deeper pink, rosy color. And then we're going to the lightest pink. And I, um, I go right into the next color. But after I get into it, I go ahead and wipe off my pencil so it doesn't get too deep into that pink and then blend this out right into that lightest watercolor that we put there. Okay, so now let's go to the other end and start blending. And then it's just the same technique over and over and over. Blend it into this pink, the lightest pink, and then that lightest pink will blend right into the center. Okay. And so then I'm going to take this white, and I'm going to do some blending with this white twice. Okay, I'm putting this white right here in the center, like I'm blending it from the lightest pink to the watercolor that we put there with white. And do the same thing on the other side. And then... Just doing that in the center here just really makes it look like it's that's where the sun's hitting, where this is all, where its highlight is at. Makes it look shiny. When we're all done, it'll look like where the shine. It'll make it look shiny right in the middle. Okay, but this color and this color don't seem to blend well into each other. Like it's not it's not as good as from here to here, right? So I'm taking this white 
and I'm going to go right on that line where it didn't seem like it blended well and just go with the white and it'll create another color that needs to be there to blend these two together. You don't always have to do this, but I I was going to choose a different color to make them blend better, but I had this white in my hand and I thought, you know what, I can create another color right there if I just use the white and it'll be perfect. Look at that. Isn't that perfect? So see, we created that another color right there, so it just blended it out. Just blended it out just perfectly. And this part, when you do that, you don't need to go real heavy-handed. And I think that just turned out gorgeous. I'm just going to erase a little bit of anything I got out of the lines, but you don't have to because you're going to go right into it. But I mean, we're not going to finish all this hair on this video, so. But let's do some more with this. Let's do some more strands of hair. Um, we'll do the one right next to it. That's right. That'll keep, will keep us in frame. And for the rest of this video, we'll just work on the hair. So you can just experiment with your pencils and you can do, you know, um, you can do anything that you can ombre into each other, like a dark, medium, and then a light of that color. Um, you can also do it with different colors, so it can be more rainbowy. You can do that too and then blend them. Like if you wanted to do uh, like magenta, orange, and then yellow, you could do that too and make it more ombre with like more rainbowy looking. That would be gorgeous too. So it doesn't have to be like shades of the same color going from dark to light. But that's what I decided on this, so. Okay. All right, so now let's take our blender pencil again. And blend these into each other. And you guys, something else I do is, um, like before I get on this video, I wanna make sure like what I'm gonna do like works. So I'll always make like a copy of my drawing did I say that I drew her? Yeah, this is my own drawing. I don't know if I said that or not, but I, I think I did. Anyway, this is my own drawing. And um, I'll always make, even if I'm doing a coloring book page, I'll make two copies. Because one's my experimental page where I can look, experiment with colors and techniques that I want to use. And the other one will be my final one that I'll actually do it on. So if I want to try something really quick, I can try it on my first one and then go back to my main one. So I'll show you more one I was practicing on. See... This was the one I was practicing on. And see, it's not even as smooth on the face. I erased this a million times, kind of experimenting with different colors and doing different things. But that's how I got my hair color going and deciding what I was going to do. So you always, always want to make, might make two copies, whether it's a color book page or it's your own drawing. Um, and then that way, um, you just feel more at ease to experiment. I know a lot of times I am too afraid like I'm like oh my god I don't want to mess up my page um, I have to start all over again so it's nice to have just a little experimental page that's what I think okay see again so let's blend these two together a little bit more and what it really does is it creates another color that color that needs to be right in between there Okay. And then let's throw a little bit of white right in the center, and that creates like a highlight. There we go. Let's see what you guys are saying. That's looking so pretty. Okay. So let's just keep going.
Um, I think I'll do this one here. Make sure that you guys are seeing that. I'll go all the way up to here. Okay, let me come. There we go. So we'll start here. And we'll go up to here. There we go. Just trying to make sure you guys, I'm in frame. Okay. I'm in frame. Okay. There's nothing worse when you think you're in frame. Oh my gosh. And you're not. Oops. And that's frustrating for you guys. You're like, okay, I'm looking at this. I'm, and you're not in frame. Okay, we're gonna, we're doing pretty big blocks of color because we have a long strand here. If the strand is too long, I'll break it up myself anyway. Either by redrawing it a little bit and breaking it up, or just breaking it up by bunch by the way I do the color. You guys will see what I'm talking about as I keep going. Okay. So now let's blend, start blending. My house smells so good right now. I'm smelling, um, my husband likes to have um, black eyed peas for the new year. And um, I've always hated black eyed peas, but he makes, he, um, from his grandma, he learned to use a, um, he used to use salt pork. And I actually like them now because the salt pork makes them so good. I always have with the ham hock and it didn't give it the flavor that salt pork does. Oh my goodness. I will actually eat these. I should make some cornbread to go with it. We can have that tonight for dinner. I think I will make some cornbread. Black eyed peas and cornbread for the new year. Okay. Okay, so now let's take this white and do that blending right here. We'll come up here and blend these two together. Kyle! Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I heard my husband. But he hadn't even come in the house yet, so that was freaking me out a little bit. Okay. And then right here in the middle, do that white so we can get a nice... Sh this is what gives you a nice shiny highlight right in the center, like the sun's hitting it. Hey, honey. I'm making a video. Kyle. Blending this a little bit, a little bit here. It just seems like it was a little bit. I don't know. 
Just redoing this a little bit. Uh, it's like I got a little heavy handed. Okay. No shocker there. Because I can get heavy handed in a second. That looks really, really pretty. Okay. How so much more time we have on here? Okay, we'll go for 10 more minutes. Okay, let's go to another section. Let me see if I am I framed from for this up to. Nope, I'm not. Okay, let me see if I can come like, there we go, that got me in frame. So here to there. Okay, so let's begin. Okay. Okay. okay, let's blend. Okay, again, I feel like I got a little heavy hand it right here. Let me just erase some of this out. That's the nice thing about pencil. If you get heavy handed on something, you don't like it, pencil erases too. So that's pretty cool about that. Okay, so we'll use a little white pencil right here to blend that out on that edge right there. And then right in the center, let's get that white in there. Get that nice white highlight in the middle. Not really white, but a nice light, light pink highlight right there. Okay. And we got the top of the head, so let's let's do the top of the head here. And I'm sure you guys are on to part two now. I forgot that my I, my, I get on my camera and it divides it up, the video up after 30 minutes. It divides. It doesn't stop. It just goes right into a 30, another 30 minute segment. So, welcome to part two. You've been in part two for a while. <laughs> you guys are like, oh, we've been here for a while. So the beginning, I said I'm going to divide this up into two parts. Well, I mean four parts because it's already two parts now. Just this part, and so it'll be two more parts probably when I do the these um, her mermaid fins. Her mermaid body and fins. Okay. okay. So let's blend this. So we're going to take the white pencil again and just do an extra little blending right there. A little extra blending here. 
and right in the center. Love it. See what you guys are seeing that looks really really pretty let me see how much more time we have all right we're still good let's do another section see this section right here goes from here all the way down so I'm gonna stop it right here this one I'm talking about dividing up a section lighter color and I try to leave a little bit of white right there so when I blend the lightest pink out it blends into that it makes another the lightest pink and if anything seems confusing about these when you're when I'm talking about these colors like this it'll make sense as you do it really easy it's really fun okay so let's take our white get that little get that blended in So that's a nice little trick. If you have two colors and they're a little bit too far apart from each other, you can throw a little white over it and just blend them together. It'll make another color right there and give you the perfect color to, for them to blend. I also feel like I need to do a little blending there. Okay, so now let's go to the center. Get our highlight in the center there going. Okay. So pretty. Okay, well, we'll do this little strand here and then we'll be done. And then I'll finish up the rest of her hair um, off camera. And then when we come back for the next video, um, I'll be working on the fins or the mermaid tail. You know, I'm going to do both these sections together at the same time this one and this one and that'll get that done a lot quicker and they're so close to each other I might as well just do them together getting two things done at once. Okay. Okay. each other. Take our white pencil, glue in that little section here, do the same thing here. 
and then get this blended here. That looks really, really pretty. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like kind of coming down like this. I think that looks so pretty. Um, let me see if I need to go, like, no, I need to come up like that. Does not look gorgeous on her hair? See what I'm talking about, how it starts creating that ombre? Absolutely gorgeous, I love it. I'm gonna turn her around this way, just in case you guys, I don't, I can't flip my video so you guys can see. And we'll come in closer on her. Let me turn her around so you guys can see it closer. And that's what she looks like. Yeah, I think she's turning out absolutely gorgeous. Let me see if I can turn around this way so you guys can see. Um, move the camera. There we go. I think that looks, she looks looking just so beautiful. Okay, so let me turn it back around and bring this back down. There we go. Yeah, I think she's looking absolutely gorgeous. So is the hair. So we will finish up. Let me just. We will finish up the. Um, we'll finish up the hair. I'll finish her, her hair up off camera. So the hair will be done. When we come back, we'll start on her body, and her um, mer her, her mermaid body and her mermaid fins. Okay, and that's what we'll start. We'll do finish up, and also when we finish that up, we will finish up um, her little bubble that she's holding in her hand. A magical little bubble okay you guys that is it I hope you guys like this um, hope you guys are inspired um, when I'm done with this girl I will I'll probably do two things I will sell her framed um, in my Etsy store I will uh, announce it also on Instagram but I also announce it on um, here on YouTube um, I also will probably sell the um, sketch of her so if you want to draw her draw her in yourself you can so I'll sell that too in my Etsy shop but I'll let you know when all that's available okay you guys that's it if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd love for you to do so if you can give this video a thumbs up that'd be great any comments or questions leave them below come visit me on Facebook and Instagram and I'll talk to you guys next video bye